everyone. We are back. Um, this is the third and final session uh, of our uh, retirement uh, savings plan uh, three-part series. And right now, we're actually going to be getting a little bit deeper into something that we discussed in our last session. Again, I forgot to say this. My producer's probably going to get into me about this. But if you haven't seen the last session, just click, click the links below um, and you can catch up on those, those, those sessions. But this one, we're going to be uh, piggybacking off and digging a little bit deeper into a topic that we started to get into in the last session. And that's, that's profit sharing. Uh, Uh, we want to get into uh, first, you know, just you know, simplify it for everybody. So, so what is it? Um, who, who actually initiates it? Uh, and what's the benefit? And who is benefited? Uh, so, I guess I have to turn it over to you, oh. uh, Robert. I, I have no clue, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks, Aaron. So, uh, you know, I know we kind of touched base a little bit, probably sharing mm -hmm. that previous session. Um, but for profit sharing, the easy, easiest way to put it, it's, uh, it's a way for an employer to thank their employee mm. of their hard work. Uh, and it's totally discretionary. What that means is the employer can decide, okay, this year we're going to give, for example, $10,000 to uh, you know, Mr. Smith, mm -hmm. right, for mm -hmm. thanks to his hard work. Uh, and next year they can be like, oh, sorry, we don't have any profit sharing plan because mm -hmm. this is not doing as well. So, mm -hmm. so as an employer point of view, that gives flexibility. And as a profit sharing plan, it's, it's still in that qualified wrapper. Mm -hmm. So it can, get, it, can be, um, it can give to the employee as a tax deferred basis. Okay. So that will help uh, in terms of right, that, that uh, deduct that taxable income mm -hmm. as, a, as a company point of view, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Where it, it, it can allow them to, to give the employee uh, more, more qualified account uh, investments, you know, mm -hmm. either in the four hundred one k platform, and I should say that's the most uh, common one is mm -hmm. within the four hundred one k, and mm -hmm. that kind of go back to we talked about earlier, the employee portion and the employer portion, even plus this profit sharing um, contribution cannot go over sixty one thousand dollars. Okay. In the year of uh, twenty twenty two. I want to I want to flesh that out a little bit because mm -hmm. I'm I'm I know um you know off off camera me and Robert were kind of getting excited over a uh, topic here <laughs> and one of the things that uh, we realized or I realized is that you know um, there there is such a thing when it comes to this as a highly compensated employee mm -hmm. because the the the, the max. For 2021 and before, yeah, uh, it was 58. It was 58,000. Correct. Yes. Everything together, mm -hmm. right? Yep. But I spotted something in the literature that, you know, was what is it 290? Was it the, the two 290,000? Was the two 290,000? Yep. And so if if you are earning, your earning power is at the 290, then your potentiality is for the whole 58,000. You know. Right. And that and that that's kind of what I want to flesh out a little bit when it comes to the profit sharing and the four hundred one k and how how can I mm -hmm. let's say I'm at three hundred and five thousand it's twenty twenty one how can I get that all that fifty eight I want the whole <laughs> thing like what is it that I need to do as an employee um, to get that fifty eight or what what do I need to petition to my employer to do. Mm. to get that 58 as employee yeah, um, that's kind of like the bad news is unfortunately the power is limited mm. just because um that's the the, the twenty thousand. well since we're 50 19,500 is the maximum they can put in for, for last year right mm -hmm. but as a as an employee when i ask my employer is you know see if they have any type of profit sharing plan for mm. the employee because that's where really the the full potential right as an employee point of view right as as, as much uh, benefits I can get from the employer mm. to really grow and save for their future and then you know um, it'll be a side note but you know the the, the, the 
when we talk to employees, the number one concern is does the employer provide health insurance? Yes. That's always the yes. right question, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> That's the most yes. important part. Then. Yeah. Second thing, a lot of employees they want to know is do they provide 401k plan for the employee or mm-hmm. the financial mm-hmm. education for the employee? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. the first important is their health, and second is their financial health, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then that is something. Uh, employer can really help the employee to accomplish that that maximizing the the 58,000 um, mm. but I would say even if it's not that maximizing but any way that you can tax defer paying tax or mm-hmm. invest in the market mm-hmm. just thinking of this a bigger pie right because of the the fund is pre-tax so the circle is actually bigger than the funds that's already taxed mm. so think about a lot of a little bit is still a lot if it's just a little bit of a lot mm-hmm. might be still a little bit what yeah. I'm saying is, that, is then that kind of although it's not tax yet, but it gives you a bigger share to invest in the market, yeah, to grow, yeah, right. So, yeah. um, as a long story short, what I'm trying to say is, as employer, the the vehicles is just the platform, just open up a whole different dimension in some way to to get that, you know, tax deferred. It's, okay. yeah. It sounds like a whole. It sounds like a whole different ballgame because because when I when I sit there and when I sit there and think about it, I I, I see the employer mm-hmm. and the employee and the opportunity that's there to reward. Not, and I guess I have to do a calculation a, a little bit with this. The opportunity that's there to reward the employee. For their service, is it a, is it a limit profit sharing wise? And, 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 and I know we're not going to get into the technicalities of testing, but mm-hmm. profit sharing wise, just a, a really simple example. Would it be again? I'm the three hundred and five thousand, three hundred ten thousand earner, and I'm petitioning my employer. Hey, you know, I'm only at nineteen. If I'm only, I'm only at twenty thousand five hundred, I'm mm-hmm. trying to get the whole sixty one. If I petition them. And others petition them, and everybody's you know we highly compensated. What what does that mathematically look like? Is it is it that because in my in my as 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 an accountant, I'm I'm doing the math. I'm saying okay, so if it's profit sharing, and if I'm thinking about this the right way, because it's all now. Here's the other thing that's coming up in my mind, and, and, and all these things are flooding at one time. The company's doing well. If the company's doing well, and if we were a Fortune 100 company, mm-hmm. if the company was doing well, then the board of directors would come together and say, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and reward our shareholders. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's let's declare and distribute a dividend. Mm-hmm. So they're essentially profit directly though, you know, in cash dividends, you know, mm-hmm. so taxable dividends, they're distributing these dividends. We want to share this, but this is different because this is saying we're there, but we want to protect your tax situation. So we're not going to distribute cash dividends where you're going to be taxed on that. Right? We're going to distribute this in the form of retirement investment programs that can benefit you in the future. And to, to speak to, to, to your point that you made just a, just a minute ago, um, and this is, this is to everyone here, is a retirement program is good either way you shake, as long as you, you leave it in there, you know right. what I mean? As long as you leave it in there. Because even if, even if it's tax later, Mm-hmm. You got to think about the speed at which that thing is growing versus the tax. You know, it's, it's just it's, there's not a comparison. So, yeah, you'll be taxed, mm-hmm. but the pace at, at which your, your, your retirement grew is, is not, you know, it's not a one on one relationship kind of thing. So, right. I think that that's the plan. But going, I'm saying all this stuff, bro. But oh, going back to, going back to, yeah. um, going back <laughs> to, uh, the the, the 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 math of it all like so is it a is it a situation where I'm, I'm the employee max out at twenty thousand five hundred this year but my employer says we'll do some profit sharing mm-hmm. the uniformity of it and the 
you know, I'm, I'm just thinking about, okay, let's say for all things equal, all the tests were done, they're going to profit share over and beyond what I've given um, an additional 5000 Okay. Does that mean that I then can contribute five thousand and my deduction goes up to twenty five five hundred, or is that the wrong math? Am I just looking at it the wrong way? What do you mean? I mean as an employee. Employee for the yeah uh, that uh, so the answer is it cannot be, it cannot because of employer contributing extra. So for profit share is hundred percent employer's control of contributing. Oh. Yeah, so employee doesn't have the the ability of they want to contribute more because it just still goes back to that you know when you sign up with a new company they have a four hundred one k they might say you have to work three months or six months you're to qualify I for it see. and you can choose how much your percentage for your paycheck so that's the amount that employee can contribute and of course it can change right depends on how the plan is designed uh, how often they can change that contribution to get that maximization. Uh, I guess to, to talk a little bit more about the profit sharing plan as the benefit as the benefit of employer because as employer there's a lot of right social mm -hmm. security taxes or mm -hmm. things that they have to mm -hmm. contribute to their employees. Um, having that profit sharing within that four one k wrapper, they actually can defer that right first of all and secondly they can actually set a vesting schedule too. Mm. And what I mean vesting schedule is because so for example if I, if I work for your company and mm. I and then you have this probably share and you say hey Robert you have to be with us at least three years mm. in order to get hundred percent of that. Mm. Based on a higher date for okay, example okay, right okay. so that means it give now it give the employees right which Think about if we want to do profit sharing, that means employees doing something right. We want to, in some way, it's kind of like the invisible leash in some yeah, ways to yeah, hold yeah. the employee. And, and that's not a bad thing at yeah, all, guys, you yeah, know, because yeah. at the end of the day, it's that win-win situation. Yeah. And then, and, and that it gives a little bit more, you know, that qualified account that I mentioned earlier. Okay. Now, if it's a non-qualified account, which doesn't have that taxable treatment mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. wrapper, then the uh, freedom for the employer to how to design on those will be a lot more. But that's another topic. There, time, yeah. There's a, there, okay. There's a, there's a lot in there's a lot in that. that you, there's a lot in that, that you just said. Okay. Yeah. So 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 the the, the the two things I want to deal with. I'm gonna deal with this one first. Okay. Is with the profit sharing, the employer is clicking now. The employer needs to be the one that 100 percent is doing that that contribution okay so that's that's the case but a lot of those profit sharing plans there is a vestment schedule or there's there's a there, there's there's a, a requirement of sorts in order for the owner the ownership or the use of those fund, of that, that profit or stocks or what have you or I guess programs um, the use by the employee. It's it's mm. they can't they can't touch it right away, or is or or can they? It's um, well, it, it can be how to say. It really depends on how the employer want to design this plan. So okay. they can choose employee a hundred percent vested right away. Okay. They can do that, or they can do a, a cliff. What we call a cliff vesting, which means it's just right the three years. If you somehow employee left before that time, then they don't get any of the profit sharing. Okay. Because I mean, Cliff is either you uh, get more supply, right? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. There's another one called graded okay. vesting, where if they work one to five years and each year, maybe they give them extra 20%, so okay. 20, 40, 60, okay. 100, that probably they get 100% of that profit share. Okay. So those can be designed into, into the plan. Okay. Yeah. So here's the million dollar question. <laughs> what if you, you set this thing up mm -hmm. and you have three of your key executives leave before they're fully vested? Like okay. what happens then? Then the, uh, the employer, depends on how the plan design goes with the profit sharing, they can take that back. So if you mm. go in, in more details, is that just say they log in online, right? And even just, and I, I encourage, you know, anyone who has a 401k with a company, 
some company does have best schedule. When you print out the statements or look at online, you will see an account balance and there's another line called vested balance. Mm. That the vested balance is a key one, it's very important now because the vested balance can be less than the actual account balance. Mm. Just to know that the employee contributions, any money that you put in is 100% vested. Okay. Right? Okay. Otherwise, it's in some way that's, I think that would be illegal for yeah, employer yeah. to, yeah. yeah, it's an employer portion if they have the vesting, if they have the contribute, if they match you. Mm -hmm. Correct way to use it. Mm -hmm. If they match you, then they might have that vesting schedule. Okay, I see. I so, see. Yeah. So really, that that portion, and I'm the, my my accounting CPA stuff is coming out now. That yeah. that portion that's not legally um, a vested portion is actually a uh, either an asset or a liability on the financial statements of the organization itself until it becomes. Vested. They they can't like even so and that's I guess what I'm looking at is from a perspective of, you know, what portion is, is truly yours if you were to just break out right now and just do your thing. Right. Um, and if, if if you can't say, Oh, I can take the whole thing, then would a employer be appropriate by saying that is a fully employee benefit this year? I'm not sure if that's that would be the case. Uh, I, I think uh, if we go over a scenario back to that three, uh, you know, executives who left the company yeah. early, let's just say their best schedule is fifty percent. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's just say employer match them hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. They left early, which means they only can take fifty thousand. Right? Yeah. So that is fifty thousand. Um, would this that fifty thousand go in terms of financial yeah. statements or accounting wise that? I'm not hundred percent sure, but I, I believe those cannot go back to the employer. Oh, the reason really? Why is because it's huh. the employer. So that can be, uh, can be even for the employer match. Uh, don't call me if uh, you know. Those will be more the TPA questions for okay. my part. Um, okay. Um, but as. Uh, as uh, as that you know, because if that can go back to employer, then that kind of yeah, I don't think that's that's allowed. But because it makes still, it an asset, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of I think there'll be like a separate account in the four hundred one k itself, and that can be I'm sure it can pay off for some of the fees and yeah. stuff like that, or yeah. can be the another match. Or next time, probably sure, maybe they can use that. And roll it, okay. Yeah, but that that, that's that's um, yeah, that yeah, would be more, yeah. Um, that because I was thinking you're. You're yeah. right because it that makes that makes it you can really manage earnings that way you know you can you can do a, you can do something with that if, if that was allowed so but that makes sense that makes sense um, so that 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 actually takes me to um, this part where just going back into okay the the benefit of an employer contributing so and now here's 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 where I see. So I'm an employer, I'm gonna profit share. I can give 100%. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's similar to uh, stock, I, it just, it, stock <laughs> options is coming into my head because I can say, okay, you know what, you've, you've done a great job this year. You know, we're, we're making a lot of money, but I don't, we can't just dump all this on you. So how about this? Let me, let me, let's, we're going to do some profit sharing for all of you. Let's say all of you all so we can make it, the testing works, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to do some profit sharing for all of you all. And instead of, because we know you, you, you got your Porsche, you got your three Rolexes and you got all, you know, you, you, you're good. So you don't need anything actually. You, you're going to Fiji every other weekend, so you're good. But we want to give you another incentive because we know a raise is really not, you know, it's not, you, you, you have all what you need month cash wise. Um, and I know you guys are saying that we can take more, but anyway, um, so we're going to give you, and now you, you can correct, please correct me, Robert, Robert okay. but we're not, I'm not calling it a raise, but I'm thinking of, I'm going to give you a raise, but I'm doing it in profit sharing. Um, because I'm giving a hundred percent. I, I think it's a. Uh... It's an incentive for sure for the employee, but I wouldn't say it's a raise because it's not considered part of the payroll, right? I mean, it, it's, uh, well, I think the first question to think of is uh, if that profit sharing is actually qualified account or non-qualified account. Okay, right? okay, so, okay. 
if it's qualified, like I said, like we do a lot of the testing and the stock option, we think that platform, uh, it, it, the, the rules of that uh, 61,000 will apply. You know? Okay, so, okay. So okay. they can give us in terms of the stocks, that detail, I think that has to do a lot with the plan design. I'm not 100% sure, I didn't come across that yet. Okay. Um, and that will be, uh, now see stocks can be complicated too, right? It depends on how's the, how's the, how's the stock is designed and, 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 and is it the 401k or outside it, you know, that, that, that's a different topic, different time, you know? Could, so I'm not sure what's the best way to answer that question. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what perspective I'm looking at it from. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it from, from a perspective of this. I'm the employee at the end of the year, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a statement from my organization and, my, and that organization is gonna make sure that every benefit, everything that they gave me is on there because they wanna make sure that they can take that deduction. So if I got refunded for you know per diem or whatever, all that stuff is gonna be on, it's gonna be on there for me as income. So, so when I get that statement, I say, okay, I got all this income Mm -hmm. But then I might have like maybe box 12 or, or, or my retirement box, my health box, and it have a big balance. Mm -hmm. So my whole, my, the big check that I got, yes, I got a big check. I got a big benefit this year, but part of it was cash and part of it was this other stuff that I now can take as a deduction, if you will. My fifty-eight, my six. Am I looking at it the right way, or is uh, it, or is it, uh, it's oversimplifying the situation? I, I think my, uh, to, I feel like it's the second one. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay. when it comes to, um, you know, even the four hundred one k, like let's just say four hundred one k majority, the investment platforms can be mutual funds, right, or mm -hmm. different kind of target dates. Most people they probably will invest in. Okay, if look at twenty forty. That's my target retirement date, and they put hundred mm -hmm. percent in there. Um, some of the big company they will have the stock. Uh, you can invest in the stocks. Okay, the company, okay, okay. And that that will show in the four hundred one k statements too. But, but that that itself in the four hundred one k and be very careful because the the characteristic of that stock can be different. Okay, okay. So okay. Um, and how you accumulating well and how you distributing within the 401k or outside the 401k. It can be a different whole, uh, I think, mm -hmm. complication or mm -hmm. a story. Um, but to answer the profit sharing concept, I, I to, to keep, if we focus to keep things a bit easier is if it's, look, if you look at it as a qualified account, you have a 401k, employee, employer are contributing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say you max 26,000 a year, uh, sorry, two, 20,500 a year, mm -hmm. and then and the employee match another, let's just say, uh, um, 9,500. So you already have 30,000 in there, right? Mm -hmm. As a pre-tax in a 401k. There's a profit sharing as an employer can give it to you as an employee as discretionary, right? So thank mm -hmm. you for doing that. And they can put up to 31,000 extra because we have 30,000 plus that 31,000. So still within the limit of that $61,000 in there. Now that's in the qualified, right? Um, bubble wrapper so that you can make sure we're compliant, right? Yes. And then, yeah. yeah, and then for that. Um, in terms of the stock options or that, that's, that will be a bit more complicated okay. in terms of is proper traded or not, I think, and, and what's the wrapper runs most likely, I think, might be non qualified just okay. because of the value of you know. The, the so stocks. it should be wrapped. It should be in some type of program. It I has to be. Like, yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Now, and this is this is the probably the final thing we talk about. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, a, <laughs> it's um, but but this I think it's because I know some of you all. It's it's it's, it's January thirty first. Uh, and we have flies. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. January yeah, 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 thirty first. You know, so all my people who haven't gotten their 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 ten ninety nines out, hey, you know. Right. Um, but what if do we have an opportunity with going back to to our session one, session two, and the mm -hmm. session here? Do we have an opportunity still 
to maximize because we, we, you know, our viewers here might have seen us and say, you know what, my goodness, I didn't know we could do that. Can we, can we do something now before this? Because we did really well in 2021. Can we, mm -hmm. can we still do something, or are we out of out of time, out of out of gas? Because 2021 is gone. We're in 2022. Mm -hmm. What's what's your insight on that? We still got time. We still got time. As long as you know, in terms of business or personal tax returns, or you haven't filed for 2021 yet, there are certain platforms that we mentioned we can still do. Mm. Some might be a little bit too late, but you know, that's something to consider maybe 2022 uh, in terms of taking taxed, advantaged um, um, platform, mm -hmm. I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely, we still got time. That's yeah. hope, that's hope for us. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's hope, that's hope, that's hope. <laughs> well, yep. well we, we, we thank you all for, uh, you know, Sticking with us these these these, these three, three three sessions here, and um, we hope we uh, we were helpful. Um, and if you you know want to reach out, feel free. You know we're here. Um, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Aaron. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks.